How's it going everybody? Just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of different options you have when charging your lithium batteries from your tow vehicle. So the standard option for charging your lithium batteries with your alternator is through your seven pin tow line here. So if you look in here, one of these lines goes to a wire to your alternator and that's gonna charge your batteries typically whenever you plug this in. Now the only problem with this is number one, you don't get much power. So if you look here, we're getting about three and a half amps per hour from this tow pin connection, which that'll take an extremely long time to charge. Let's say a 300 amp hour battery bank, it'll take a hundred hours to charge that. And then the reason you don't get a whole lot of power out of the tow pin connection is just because the wire is small and it's going a long ways from the battery all the way back to the trailer. Another thing you must have whenever you're getting a lithium upgrade is you want to add a battery isolator on the tow pin connection. And what this does, this protects the lithium batteries from accidentally draining into the vehicle or the tow vehicle battery whenever you park for extended periods and the vehicle is not running. Because basically you just have two battery banks combined and the lithium voltage is higher so it'll just drain into your vehicle battery, which you don't want. So if we go ahead and unplug the tow pin connection from the truck here, you can see how much power it was offsetting. So we have it unplugged and then it was putting on about three and a half amps and we're using about 1.3 amps here. So it was putting out about five amps total. So if you wanna get a lot faster charging out of your alternator, your next best upgrade is adding a DC to DC charger. And this is a 30 amp DC to DC charger and it'll put out up to 30 amps per hour. The only caveat to this install is that you have to run new large gauge wiring all the way from the DC to DC charger through the trailer, all the way up to the back of the vehicle through a plug here. And then you'll add a big plug. So you have two separate plugs. You have your tow pin plug and then you'll have a DC to DC charger plug. And then this large gauge wire must be run all the way up to the front of the vehicle to the tow vehicle battery. So when doing this, we typically disconnect the tow pin charge line. So we just have the DC to DC charging so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in here. So we got our DC to DC plugged in and we got our standard seven pin connection, which is not gonna put out any charging power, but it's there to run the lights and brakes and everything else. So if we look at our battery monitor here, you can see our current, we're putting out 32 amps here and we were at negative about one and a half before. So we're actually putting out over 30 amps with this DC to DC charger. So instead of taking a hundred hours to charge your battery bank, you might charge in 10 hours. This unit is charging 10 times as fast. And you can tell it's on by looking at the unit and you can see the on off button here flashing green. That's how you know it's on and it's charging. Now if we go ahead and unplug it, we'll unplug the DC to DC charger here. And we still have our tow pin connection plugged in. And you can see we're back to using about negative 1.1 amps. These are great to have because you can have the solar charging and the alternator charging at the same time while you drive the road to even more power. You're going to get roughly 10 times faster charging power from a DC to DC charger versus the standard tow pin connection. Get your free solar and lithium battery quote today by going to solarpowermyrv.com slash free quote. 